Hello there, and welcome to another Brick in the Mall, episode 4. Actually, just before I started recording this episode, about an hour before I am, uh, an update dropped for another Brick in the Mall. So we're now on 0163. And 0163 brings with it several new things. If we go to build, and we go to objects, and we go down to our counters, these things here, they rotate now. So you can put them that way on, or that way on, or that way on. So you can actually have them queuing up, the, up to the right, down, or to the left. So you've got full control now of where the tills can go. So if I were to redesign this building, I could have my tills going across the top. That'd be great. I don't know if the shelves have it. One second. Do the shelves have rotation? I'm not sure if they do yet. No, the shelves don't currently have rotation. It's just the tills. It did say in the uh, change log that the tills had rotation in there, so it's just the tills. But that's a stat. So the deficit saves and put that in. So when that one's in there, that means the other ones are going to be easy to implement code-wise, and it'll be mostly a um, a graphical change. So probably do a load of graphics to do with the actual products on the shelves and then the shelves themselves, just to make the rotation of shelves work. Tills are much simpler because it's literally till and an item, you know, a box or whatever. Whereas the shelves have so many things that can go to those shelves. So I, I get it. I understand it. I understand it entirely. It'll be a little while yet. Okay, here's the plan. We've got the upgrades to start this place, and we're getting new ones are coming on to start making this place up and running. The car park is in a bad place. It can't expand too far uh, without hitting the wall, and even then, it's the car park is expanding away from the shops. Really, we want the car park down here. So as it expands down, we've got another shop below it. Did it on the live stream, and it worked really well. But that's actually not what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to get this place here up and running, use these two to generate cash, as we are currently generating cash, or about three grand a day. Then we're going to build out this way, and we're going to build a new store in these areas, right in the center. It's a big stores, not necessarily mega ones, maybe about that size, you know. Boom, 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 doing different things, focused stores. So there'll be one like dry food cell, and one like frozen foods, and there'll be like a drinks, and you yeah, get the idea. And there'll be a couple of mixture ones in there just for fun of it, but uh, mostly we're going to start off with like, specialized stores. And then when we've done that, we should also have by that point the uh, the restaurants and we should have the bowling alleys and stuff. They'll go in as well. And they're going to have like a big shared car park at the sides to help each other out. Maybe some car park in the middle. I don't know yet. Haven't fully planned out all of that yet. But uh, yes, that's kind, of, that's kind of the initial starting point. While we're doing that, Keep an eye on these guys and see how much uh, we can optimize their flow. Don't know what we're going to do yet. Also, one of the big updates that came in was that when you manage the store, you can now sort, filter your staff. I just want to see all my stock clerks, please, or all my cashiers, and you can sort them by their starting hour. So now you got all people where they're supposed to be in the starting queue. So you don't have to go and find the early ones anymore. Excellent. And the uh, garbage truck just coming here. Look at that. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Look, look at that. That is actually really cute. I'm going to get a screenshot on that. Thank you, game. Yeah, that's kind of cute. I like the garbage truck. It's got a... Well, that way looks really, really like a rocket, doesn't it? It's got like a really nice graphic for it. Okay. That'll probably make a screenshot. <laughs> Unrelated. Let's start building this place up, because this place over here is actually ready. Uh, all of the things are on, apart from detergents, which will go over there with the machine. The food shelves have all of the items. Good. Right, let's start working over here, then. So we need over here to make over here work. Uh, we need pallets, pallets for the actual products. And then we want, because we got the car pack there, we got the normal door there, we got the stock room down here. We want the pallets to go around this area. And then we want the tills to go across. And then people go up and out there. That's kind of the plan we had originally. So let's do a couple of tills. Check out counter, please. Uh, oh yeah, I rotated it, didn't I? You know, we could do it vertical down now. Stop, stop. There we go. I could definitely... That's actually not a bad idea. Um, let's place down an entire row of them and leave a one gap behind them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's more than we're going to need. Uh, that's so people can come in and go up there and out the door. Um, probably to replace that single door with double door, though. So give me object removal. That was all. And give me object insertion. Also give me full building speed. And double door there. And give me, you know what, some, some double door. Put one. Um, 
I don't want to put one from the end, but yeah, we'll, we'll make it symmetric. Symmetri symmetrical. Okay, so we have washing machines, dishwashers, drying machines and fridges. These guys are on pallets, so let's make these in groups. Uh, there's four items currently available, so let's put them in groups of four of their own. So one, two, uh, three, four, do it like a... Cancel, 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 cancel. Go one, two, three, four, gives us a halfway map. But if we put them together in little stacks, which I think is a better way of doing it. We only, yeah, we're still moving on. So I'll pause for One, two, three, four in a line, gap. One, two, three, four, gap. Yeah, if we do that, it's that there. One, two, three, four, gap. One, two, three, four, gap. Then we kind of run out of space. We can only extend the start that way if we want to. But if we go one, two, three, four, gap, gap. One, two, three, four. So if you put one, I'm, I'm, I'm just figuring space out. One, two, three, four, gap, gap. One, two, three, four. That would work. One, two, three, four, double gap. One, two, three, four, double gap. That fits <laughs> more than anything else. So let's do four of each. So we have four of each item in the store ready to go. So they can pick up their washing machine and go straight to the counter. Uh, and then we'll put down the... Which one has the... It's still weird. Yes. A shelf for detergents and whatnots. Currently can't rotate them. So I'm going to put both of these two over here. Uh, boom. Tee boom. That's like detergents and stuff. Uh, you know what? Let's put some more tables there. I don't want to put that one in. That's beer, ice cream, dairy, milk, wheat. It's just not really what for this building. Uh, the food shelf is all food related stuff, wine, canned food, breakfast cereal, snacks, cookies, like bread. Not really anything in there we want to put in for this particular location. Uh, I do want the shelf there because I do want to put in the uh, things that are related to these other items. Main tables, bread, no, it's not, not yet, but we have got laptop computers, games, smartphones, I want those in here. So we want those up here at some point. I probably have to remove some of these tables, maybe. Clothing rack's not going to happen, pallet we've already got, so we're okay. Uh, so let's start you guys up. Let's get you a nice storage area. Let's uh, assign storage. Boom. Storage. And assign store. Boom. Store. And then let's just actually in this store make sure that everything's going to be okay. So now you're coming online. We can get these out this full speed to build. Build, 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 build. All right, so here comes the build and done, okay. So now if we start here, if we said that this store, this one here is gonna be, like, so on this side here, we're gonna go detergents there. Then this shelf, we've got detergents. You know what, give them uh, cookware. No, detergents are for washing. So this side here, I'm gonna go cookware and dishes, this side, dishes, there. And we've got detergents, so what we'll do here is we'll say um, the fridge can go there because it's going to go with the uh, cookware and whatnot, so you put your food on it, you know. So there we go. Uh, this has got detergents on it, so it will have the di uh, the washing machine and the drying machine this side, and the other one will have the dishwasher because it has the plates. Yeah. So I put in the actual items, it doesn't, I know the game doesn't care, but I do. Uh, then drying machine this side. Drying machine there, drying machine there, drying machine there. Then we have down here the dishwashers. And then all the uh, things are in. And now here we have dishes for the dishwashers and cookware for the food that goes into the fridges. They go to the fridges. And this side we have we have drying machine, washing machine, we have here detergents. And so in this one we don't want to turn it again, although we will do that if there's no spares. Although we do have bed sheets for the washing machine. No. Whether I bring all the clothing as well, wouldn't I? Soap and shampoo is more personal rather than machines. Uh, so that's not related to any of them. Tools, a car tool, video and toys. I'm going to put down a second detergent. Because we can more than anything else. All right, so we now have this place ready. Uh, all set, ready to go. So let's get some staff in here. Oh, it opens at 9 a.m. till 7. Okay, it's closed at the moment, which is good. Let's get a stock clerk on board. Stock clerks have to be fast and able to carry a lot of stuff. You are fast and can carry a fair amount of stuff. Boom. I also want a second stock clerk, which is going to be you, because I saw you coming in. You've got decent stock clerk stuff. Boom. Okay, we now have two stock clerks. I want the first stock clerk to start at midnight. Because this is going to be not necessarily a 24 hour one, but I want to make sure we're stocked up by morning. Uh, and then the next person will start at the opening hours. And this place will probably run until a bit later than normal, but not necessarily really. Long. It's not, this is not going to be 24 hours. 
So I point up firing one of these people or extending the opening times having a double up at some point. But first of all, it's just get the uh, place stocked up. So it's midnight. The first person should be on their way. Boom. Come to work in nine hours. Come to work in nine hours. No, see, I set your starting time right there. Look. You're not going to send me to get guys. Oh balls. Uh, zone. Assign storage. That one. Staff. You start working nine hours. You start working nine hours. How about I take you? It's now three. Let's start you at one o'clock. Nope. You're there. Why are you coming to work in nine hours? I want you now. Da, da. Uh, 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 uh. What? Stay employed zero. You're about to get fired, aren't you? Fine. I want to put your starting time at two, and just to see if you turn up. Could that be interesting? But until then, let's keep doing the other stuff. We need the staff members to sell the stuff. So give me. I just want two cashiers. will do the job. I think very nicely. Uh, you're a janitor. I could definitely do a new janitor, but I'll get you in a moment. Um, okay, you are. You got good patience. You're not good, that good at cashier, but you got the patience, so you can be my cashier for there, and you know what? Um, as, as much as you're a better janitor, the fact is, I need a janitor though. Uh, right now I don't care, you've got the patience, you've got the social ability, you actually also have both of those, boom, you. There we go, so two uh, cashiers will turn up at the time of the day, when we're uh, opening the out office, so they'll open, they'll do the work, good. Over here, we've got my people. Eight hours and eight hours. You're still not going to turn up for midday, apparently. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Here comes new stock. Excellent. So we can actually get that built up. A bit of storage built up there. Good, good, good. And then that person did turn up at two o'clock. Ah, just graphic the other day. Okay. Excellent. That means we're going to start getting the items in here all done. Perfect. Bam, 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 bam. So fridges and dishwashers are coming online first by the way, they are probably the closest. Boom, and then, is there any that the faster way? Really? Rather than that door there? I suppose maybe it is. Uh, and then, of course, so washing machines and dryers will be after these. Now, I said this person started work at two o'clock, it's now six o'clock, you see why I wanted this person to start early. These big items take a lot longer to restock. The shelves are stocked now with plates, Detergents and cookware, so it's basically utility and whatnot around that. Good. We have two lots of detergents to go with the detergent based machinery, and hopefully, new people will come in and start buying this stuff. There we go, it's daytime. Okay, this shop is now open, the staff should be turning up. There's the staff, we need to start car parking at some point here, but uh, there's the staff, and immediately new customers. Hello, customers, and immediately sold one item. Okay, so you walk away. You go there and you put your. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That is not a is not a fridge. And that is a pan, though. Yeah, I saw the pan, but I didn't see the fridge. So that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Fine. Two hundred for a fridge. That's not bad, especially when you put it in a bag as well, you know. And twenty three for you. And you bought what you buying. I don't know. Could we stop? It was good value, though. So we got people are now coming to buy their utilities. Excellent. 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 So that place is now open for business. Uh, it is, I don't think I need two uh, stock guys unless I want to open late on. Um, seriously considering opening late on, but not enough customers need to really burst the bank, needing multiple people. Although they are now starting to come in because they're kind of, someone will spread the word that our uh, dishwashers are, are very good quality dishwashers. <laughs> okay, so we are doing very, very nicely with these guys. And that place there hasn't given me warnings, apart from uh, we have still 50 different types of product is a new uh, attempt up here. We've got 40 and I could do more once we get more because we... Ooh! See that's the problem, I only have one of these guys working and these places here just took so long to restock up. That's the problem, we do actually get, kind of probably need to then during the day. Okay. You know what we're... That's no. Um, you. Uh, staff. My other star clock who starts at that time, could you start at 8? So you sort of run an hour earlier and then later. Uh, so we've got a bit more coverage until we expand the opening times. Not quite sure if we're going to expand the opening times yet. I need to see how it progresses throughout the day. But we'll, we'll keep an eye on these people. They are sort of the dryers nearly. The dish, oh, there we go. Entirely out of that one now. If you can restock that one first, guys, please. Okay, there we go. It is now end of the day. Everyone's going home. Everyone's happy apart from the stock guy who gets to work a bit longer. 
Dun, 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 and then one more, and that place is in. Oh, you didn't get the one done. What a shame. Over here, however, with the night shift starting, it's getting very busy now, isn't it? Car pack is holding up nicely. Definitely need some um, proper staff car packing over here at some point. But I think we're doing all right. All right. So one of the things I wanted to do was take this car pack up here and put it below. But like I said, we're going to be sort of moving over this way anyway, so it's not really going to be an issue. I do wish we could put like a pack and ride in. That'd be nice. You know, people get in, go there, and then they're over here, and then yes. But no. <laughs> Queues are building up, but there are other people to go to, so if we could not go to those, that'd be great. Thank you. Right, so, um, this place is so big now, I am seriously thinking about getting an extra stock person on during the main rush hour. Uh, it'd be great if we could tell when the main rush hour was. Give me all my stock clerks, sort them by starting hour, which is no reason anyway. Later there, I just need a second stock clerk. Who's good at stock clerking? Uh, who's the fastest, basically? You, you're the fastest. Boom. And you get to start your day about there. I think it's like the busiest period. It's going to be about there. That should be enough to keep these... Because these shelves are getting a bit low, but they're not out. But uh, if we get more people coming in, then they could definitely run out. So we're going to hold it safe at that point. Full speed this place. And we are good. Now, one of the things that confused me for a long while is these stop piles. You can say, uh, I want to be 100%. Why are they not already 100%? I mean, I don't know that. I mean, there's probably a reason. Um, I'm not quite sure what the reason is, but there probably is a reason. Um, if, they ever, if anyone knows, I mean, is it like a compatibility thing or something like that? Ooh, what's this? New objective. Turn the daily profit of over 10,000. Ooh. What is that daily profit right now? 8,000. Wow, we made a lot of money. That's that place. That made us a lot of money. With the extra stock person on this side, uh... With the extra stock person on this side, because I've moved them both to be at the same time, we can keep this place fully stocked, and it's just going to keep this place rolling money, because we ran out of dryers. Dryers? We ran out of dryers. We ran out of dryers. We almost ran out of other things as well, but that wasn't too bad. Okay, so it's now running for the night time. That's not a problem. And we can, you know, we can start planning the uh, big build. If we build the road, um, they're down. And we start sort of our first building here, on to the side, and the car park can be here. Yeah. Oh, we could be in the building, but the road go around this building, so it sticks out a little bit. I like that better. better. Build me a road. We can say from here down to about. You know the map size. So the road down to about there. You know what? We can take it down to be roughly the same length as that one. Yes. And then bring it out about that far. And then down again. About to there. That's going to be sort of my... Uh, oh, the building's sticking out a little bit here, you see. And that'll be doing quite nice. I'm going to put it onto a, a normal build for now. Get that done so I can put uh, bits around it. But there we go. We also have these guys. Oh, the shop is open. Excellent. And hopefully this place is going to start uh, selling, stuff up, selling up more stuff. People now know we exist, you see. <laughs> we are at 50 car packing spaces. We're not breaking down that one. We are, we're holding steady at that. Okay. I don't think this is going to be a problem yet. I think you're over the line a bit there, though. Yeah. Okay, so... We're doing very good. I think uh, this, especially this new store, is doing really well for us. It's really pushed our profits up, giving it itself items at hundreds. The, the crews aren't getting that big either, so if they were getting bigger, I would put the more tills on, but I think we're okay for now. Uh, people are buying the small items as well, or the detergents for their machines that they bought. Uh, I wonder if they can later on build back multiple items, you know, pick up a, a dishwasher and some detergent and go. Hmm. But over here we have all these guys, and we're definitely keeping the shelf items on the shelf right now, which is good to see. Alright, now there was something we didn't have anything of. I think it's like clothing or something, I didn't really put it into this place just yet. Oh, that place is done! What were the profits? 6,000 and still going up. Very, very nice. 7,000. Yeah, this place just keeps making money all night long, doesn't it? Um, our cost, our salary was 2 grand. We sold 10 grand worth of items. It's not too bad. Uh, salaries haven't gone down slightly for some reason. Probably that person we had night shift yesterday brought him into day shift. Um, the wages are automatic, so I don't know. Unless somebody screwed up and got a pay cut. <laughs> Unless, of course, actually more likely 
We haven't finished the day yet, so it'll go up. Ah, see, it's already higher. Ah, right. Okay, that's not a problem. I didn't hire an extra person, so I expect that. Uh, but there we go. It was uh, seven grand. A little bit less than last time, but uh, not by too bad much. Okay, where are you going? Uh, okay, it's fine. Right, so we have our new stock. Our new stock is doing very, very well. How is our research coming on? We have 29 hours left of electronic supply, which is okay. But then when that comes on board, we'll have laptops, game consoles, smartphones, tablets, MP3 players, cameras, and TV sets, which I think we'll put into here if we can fit them. Uh, we may need to expand the store down here a little bit, so we can, which kind of was the plan originally anyway, to have the store, the store inside like that sort of thing. Uh, and then we'll see how it goes. And then obviously we're going to be building a new building over here, which our little builder over here is currently working on, which is really, really nice. I'm going to put um, some staff car parking nearby, but it's going to be mostly customer parking over here. That'll be later. Get the building up first. There we go. All right, so I think we've done good. I think that having that little start up and running is doing us very, very nicely. Um, people are now starting work. The stock guys are in to start replacing all these items on the shelf. There we go. And the morning customers have arrived. The other place will be opening around eight or nine. Let's have a look. It is nine. Okay, we'll be open at nine. I think we need to open the other store a little bit uh, later. So maybe eight till five. No, eight till maybe bring it back earlier now. I don't know. We'll look into it because the more like, a lot of time it's open, the more likely people have to buy expensive stuff. We'll figure it out. But that'll be something for us to figure out later in the next episode. Until then, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. And I'm really happy to see that you're all really liking the series. So uh, it'll keep going for quite a while longer. I'll give it. See you all next time, guys.